Hey everyone, Shane here, and I was asked to do a tour of our personal camper. This is the 2020 Crossroads Zinger Light, the 280BH. So let's go take a look, and I promise I'll turn the air conditioner off when we get inside. I've learned now that if the air is on when we're inside, the audio is very, very loud. So let's go take a look at this. Let me throw these specs in real quick so that way I don't forget to tell you guys. It is a 51 gallon fresh water tank, 88 gallon gray water tank, 44 gallon black water tank. Now these are capacities, 9.4 gallons propane. Um, let's see here, the heater is a six gallon Dometic water heater. Um, it's 32 foot, six inches long. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're on our own camper pad at home. So I can't put the awning all the way out right now, so just bear with me. Coming over here to the other side, I do have, I have the camper plugged in. I have the slide out. There we go. Love those windows. I promise I'll move the floaty when we get in there. <laughs> it does it does have the hookup it's a quick connect for the Furion backup camera it does not or at least mine did not come with a tire cover but there is a spare tire this is a 30 amp camper so over here we have our 30 amp plug it does tuck in some of them hook onto the outside this one does tuck in and it snaps in this is a really solid clip Got the shower over here. So you can pull the shower out, connect it over here. If you're washing dishes or stuff like that, it might have like some chunky food into it. It does have a valve over here that if you do turn the water on, you can turn it on and off right here on the side. Hot and cold control. So it does have hot water outside here. This is our city water connection. And when you are flushing your black tank, you have your, we have two gray tanks. We have one in the rear, which is for the bathroom here, for the bathroom sink, uh, and for the shower. So we have a gray tank and a black tank down here off of a Y valve. This is our city water connection. And this is our flush hookup for our sprayers that go into our black tank once we're flushing the tank out. And I'll go over uh, how to flush out a black tank in another video. I was asked about that and I'm new to it as well so I'll show you guys how I do it. It may not be the way everybody else does it but it's how we do it. So forgive the water. I just got done uh, actually power washing the awning underneath because when you roll the awnings up um, they just can get full of so many bugs and critters and just debris so I just took it upon myself to to hose it down with the power washer and some soap and give it a bath. Underneath here is another valve. This is our gray tank. Uh, this here is for the um, gray water coming out of the kitchen. You see that? The gray water tank sits underneath the slide. It's not a problem to get to at all. Towards the front of the camper, we have a cubby. This does pass all the way through. This is a smaller door. Usually over here, I don't keep the briquettes. I'm actually gonna reorganize this. I toss these in here just as we're getting ready to go. Um, normally over here, we just keep um, our fishing poles. And then on this side, I'll also keep uh, actual, my, uh, my hitch. I'll just take it off my truck and I'll put it in here. I'll put my ball in here. Yep, we'll go to the other side. So this is the blockhead from Deadbolt. I really like this a lot. It's um, it's one of those extra steps of safety that just really make you feel secure if you have to leave your uh, camper or your travel trailer at a campsite and go off someplace. So I, I really, really like this. It makes me feel safe. I do have electric assist for up and down and I even have a light. Um, I've noticed that some campsites, people like to keep their lights on. Um, not really my thing, but Maybe they're doing it for a reason. And if something was to happen here, underneath this plug, there is a direct mechanical hookup. So you can take your tongue jack and move it up and down. And it does come with a crank as well. Underneath here, probably don't need to have my keys. Underneath here is our propane. Two tanks. There's a splitter right here. You can run off both tanks, one tank or the other tank. 
I prefer to run off of just one tank only. My tanks are off when traveling because if one tank goes empty, you definitely know you have another tank to rely on. 280BH right there, you can see that. Here is our battery and right over here is the solar plug. If you wanna go solar, um, this thing is ready to rock. So there's the solar plug. It says, uh, attention, only use ZAMP solar portable charging systems. I haven't really looked too much into that, but I'm looking forward to that type of an adventure as well in due time. <laughs> I love the way the emblem looks. Zinger light coming down. You got your, your marking lights out there coming down. It's got this black diamond plate. Looks good. It's just a, it's just flexible aluminum diamond plate, but it looks nice. Okay, over on this side is a larger cubby here for storage. This is where I usually keep the water filter. Uh, we're gonna get some tubs put in here, our hoses. We keep our extra um, fire pit grill cover, chairs, chalks, all the extra stuff you don't wanna put in the camper. But we're gonna go over that in a totally different video. So over here we have the six gallon Dometic water heater. So this is by Dometic. It does not have an anode, so that's kind of cool. Our fresh water fill for the 51 gallon fresh water tank. And then we have outlets outside here. That is a cable hookup. And then if you look over here, we have a quick drain. You see on the quick drain there, underneath, right there is the quick drain for the fresh water tank. Outdoor Bluetooth speakers. Those are nice. Okay, so this is pretty cool. If you got any small animals, any small dogs, we have a little bone here, a little paw on the bottom. Put the leash around there. Pets can stay there. Let's uh, open up this. This is um, one thing that I really was looking for in a camper. So this pops up. slides out so for me this was really important for any type of outdoor cooking be it breakfast or if you're just cooking something simple up here but also I really wanted this fridge Ooh, there's a nice cold tea in here from one of the boys I haven't utilized the refrigerator out here yet but I definitely plan on doing so so on a fun note I was calling this my uh, my backup fridge so I figured not as a backup in case my fridge on the inside went bad, but I'd keep it stocked with beer. And if I needed help backing up anybody that helped me back up, they would get beer from the backup fridge. So, <laughs> but I really wanted, this is the Flame King burner. There's a small burner or a large size burner on there. Um, it is propane underneath. There's a um, propane line with a valve hookup. It does have an on and off. Um, and there is a water hookup here. Now the sink does not have a drain in it, it's more of a catch pan type sink, but it works. I like the, uh, the storage here on top. So if you are utilizing this, you can keep all your cooking uh, accoutrement or implements up here. It's nice. So one feature we wanted was we did want the auto um, stabilizer, so we do like those. and we remove them just until they touch. All right, so there was a quick look on the outside. I just threw some real quick specs in there. I will put the rest of the specs in the description, but you know what, let's go take a look inside, shall we? Oh, I forgot to mention, running right underneath this canopy are some really cool looking blue lights. They look great in the nighttime. Okay, so once you walk into the camper, um, to your right is a really good sized pantry and kind of a smaller doorway, but we found that having my wife, myself, and then two boys, and if we have our older boys, so there's four boys plus their friends, 
this area can be really crowded with shoes. We kind of have a no shoe policy. So I'm gonna take my shoes off inside the camper. And what we do is we hang our shoes up right up here. Uh, my wife picked this up, it's fairly cheap. It's a really great option if you need to have some more organization when you walk into your camper. Um, it looks like our boys are also putting some of our recyclables out here, so I'll have to fix that. But let's take a look at the pantry. We keep our recyclables down at the bottom of our pantry. We keep a level for when we do arrive at camp, we can uh, make sure the camper is nice and even. On the other side over here of the pantry wall, we keep our broom, dust pan, all that good stuff. These bottles, they travel great on these shelves. These shelves actually have a lip on them, so the bottles don't come out of here. And it's not like I drive like a crazy man anyway, but really it's pretty decent. I like the fact that there's a light in the pantry as well. So yeah. Um, we're kind of in home mode right now when we are out at camp my wife fills this pantry up so uh, we just did bring it home <laughs> and uh, we have yet to really kind of deep clean before we leave so you're going to get to kind of see it in the middle of transition right now so to the left when you walk in there are these two full size they're called teddy bear bunks and above the bunks there is a nice light there's another light under here for whomever may be sleeping down on the bottom bunk. Um, our son Keegan likes to play his guitar, so he'll either have his electric or his acoustic. And this is really nice. This curtain kind of closes them off. They can have the light on. If I turn the lights off in the rest of the camper here, let me show you. It doesn't really disturb anybody too much. It's not bad. So... They like this um, for mom and I. We we know they're safe. They're not really getting into anything. But let's talk about these bunks a little bit. They're a 300 pound weight limit per bunk. Not really a big fan of how straight up and down these this ladder is. Now I understand the ladder needs to be straight up and down, but at 510, that's a really uncomfortable uh, climb for me. So I know that my kids who are not much shorter than I am now, um, it's not a very comfortable climb for them. In fact, our son Dorian, when he's up on the top bunk, he usually just hops down off the bunk and uh, everybody knows it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you are in a, tra a travel trailer, so they do shake a little bit, you know, especially if somebody's jumping around. But yeah, so other than the ladder, the bunks, they're great. For size, now these teddy bear mattresses, as they're called. Um, oh, these teddy bear mattresses, they're so soft. You're right, they're very soft to the touch, but they're not comfortable. Look, that's that's it. That's all it is. Just a chunk of foam, that thick. Um, so what we did is we ordered, I believe, three, two three-inch memory foam mattress pads um they're for full size because these are considered a like a, a double bunk is what this is actually called i believe or a full bunk I, it's a weird measurement but anyway um that'll be in another video because what i'm going to do is the memory foam mattresses that i that my wife had ordered i say i my wife ordered and i'll make them fit um i'm going to cut down and I'll probably have to do some sewing or whatever. I'm not sure yet, but I'll make them fit these and they'll have another three inches of memory foam on top of this. So that way they get a little more comfort when they sleep. We had to actually change our mattress as well. So there are two outlets here and there's a USB also. And underneath there's another two outlets down here. So on the top, this window, I use that window right there when I'm putting the awning out and I don't want to let bugs in. So, <laughs> I mean, I can close the screen, but really, if it's really, really hot and muggy outside, I can, I can just roll that up, look out that window, turn on my outside perimeter light. I can see that awning go in, come out, make sure I'm not getting snagged on anything. I know I don't need to watch it all the time, but I'm kind of weird like that, and that's just a personal preference of mine. So... This is, these are the teddy bear bunks. They're 
really nice. I like the placement of them. I like the storage that's underneath here. Let me show you that. So this unit right here is actually the inside of um, our outdoor kitchen. So what I really do like is I like the storage area right here. So for the storage area, what we normally do is we put our big cooler underneath there. And it just kind of helps when we bring a lot of drinks, if we've had to leave camp or whatever else. So it's really great for storage. It's also great when we're leaving, we'll take all of our camp chairs and we'll stick them inside of there. So they have a nice place to stay. So here's kind of the command station, our battery, our fresh water tank, our black tank, our gray tank, our secondary gray water tank, and our auxiliary. Um, now, when we're looking at our gray water tanks, we have two of them. We have one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. Uh, we have our slide control. We don't have another other two additional slides, which you actually could have on this convenience center. We have the one slide, the one awning. Here's the blue light. Turn that off. Pretty cool, huh? It does look neat at night. And then this is for the outside light. Once you arrive to camp, you can use your water heater. Um, if you want to use propane or you can hook it right up to electrical and your water pump, your water heater. Um, I suggest turning your water heater off if you're not going to be using it. There's a cubby up above the convenience center. Um, I like to use it to keep all of our keys and miscellaneous items that we're coming in and out of the door with. Um, that's just a personal preference. This other cubby here, we use them for the boys, for their clothes. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom. This right here is something, this is something that everybody needs to utilize. Over the door hangers for bathroom towels. A lot of RV bathrooms may be good size. Ours is decent. It's not big, it's not small, it's what we wanted. Okay, so the bathroom, one thing we wanted was this good size vanity like this. Uh, my wife yeah, packed everything that's usually sitting down here, up here, inside of here, so when we travel, it doesn't kind of get moved all the way around. It's got a nice solid door uh, latch on it. Just a pretty small, cheap sink, but there is storage underneath as well and this is where I keep the porta packs so if you if you're new to RVing or you know what these are once you arrive to camp you just drop them in your toilet give a little bit of water drop them into your um, your septic tank your black tank whatever you may call it keeps the smell so fresh so good so we don't have like a toilet paper like holder or roll so we've just been kind of doing this little gem right here it really works for us we put all the like the lotion and stuff like that medicine for the boys up here our son dorian has asthma so he has like all of his medication that we put in here and it's just a normal stop for him when he's brushing his teeth there's an outlet in here we haven't cleaned yet since we've been back it's just a shower we didn't want a tub I apologize, the boys were at the beach, and it's a little dirty, we, like I said, we haven't cleaned the bathroom yet, but we do like this bad boy up here, this is nice, especially if you're taking a shower in the hot day, just open this up, click this little button there, it exhausts in here so well, but I gotta tell you something, the uh, actual bathroom itself, with just this just this, this unit right here, just this blowing in, gets very, very, very cold. Good bathroom though, I mean, it's, you know, it's well put together, it's solid. Faucets are weird, you turn them out on both sides to get water. That may be an RV thing, not 100% sure, but it's good. Let me back up and give you a better kind of view of our bathroom overall here. Shower, counters counters, good storage, toilet, and there's enough leg room. I'm 5'10", my legs don't hit that. My wife has a fake knee, she's 5'7". She doesn't have any issues getting in and out of the bathroom in here as well, so it's good. 
So this is the couch. This is a jackknife style couch. So um, what happens is you just reach down and you can just pull it up. Take these and turn it into a bed. So what our boys like to do is they like to actually just put a pillow up behind them at night if they're watching a movie together and just kind of sit back with their with their backs up against here and and watch watch a movie. Um, funny thing about a TV and let me put this up and I'll tell you that in just a moment here. Cup holders, eh? They're nice. The boys are sitting here. Um, they can have a drink in the living room, which is uh, very unique to them because in actually at home, there's no food or drink allowed in the living room. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's talk about this TV. Okay, so this is a 32 inch Sansui TV. Um, it's nothing spectacular, it's not even a smart TV, but it was $99. And if you wanna save a couple bucks, what we did was we bought a Sansui TV this is 1080p, and we bought a Roku. So essentially, you just have to have another controller, and we keep our controllers up here. And that's a little control station. There is your um, cable outlets or your um, 110 outlets up there. So we are ideally try not to really watch too much TV when we're camping. Um, we try to spend as much time outside as we possibly can. But you know what? You got to live into your camper and there's going to be those times where you're just spent. You don't want to do much, but just kind of relax, you know, lose yourself in TV or whatever it may be, whatever your thing is. You know, for us, we had a movie night. Um, we had a great night. Bugs were really bad one night. Um, we had a big campfire. We came in the house, we weren't ready for bed. We watched a little bit of TV and went to bed. Another night, the um, it started to storm. So we came in, had a movie night, had some ice cream, watched a movie. Oh, it was a, it was a great evening, you know? So yeah, $99 for this. I think this was under $30 for the Roku. And we have the sound bar down here, which is really nice. <clears throat> it's nice because it's Bluetooth. I can connect it, well, to the TV if I want, or I connect it to um, my phone, which I like to listen to music. So. I have A, which are the interior speakers, or I can go to B, which are the exterior speakers, or I can do A and B when I'm cleaning, I like to do that. I'll turn the music on on the inside, on the outside, kind of rock out and do my thing, but it sounds good, it sounds clear. So yeah, um, then there's more storage down here on the bottom. So this is just some storage. Uh, we don't really have much in here yet. We have a first aid kit, we have the remote for the sound bar, and then we have just some uh, DVDs, some Blu-rays down there like the whole Harry Potter series. Can't go wrong there at all. So the only downfall about the whole entire camper would be this refrigerator door, which is funny because it's not really a downfall, but it will come far and hit this. And there is a dent in it. The dent was actually in the camper when we bought it. Um, where we bought the camper from, they're actually gonna replace the door skin for us. But really, if that's going to continue to happen, other than us putting a little pad right here, even the new door skin is going to get a dent in it. So that's the only downfall that we really have about the camper. This is the Norcold. Here's your refrigerator settings, your freezer settings. If you hold this, it will turn the power off. But you're not going to want to do that. We have all this space. There is so much cabinet space in here. It's crazy. Um, of course, you know, like I said, we haven't really cleaned yet, so it's still coming in from camping. We haven't even dusted it yet. But the microwave, got the light underneath. You do have the fan for the vent. The vent directs outside there. Um, this is a three burner stove. This pops up. It's a nice tight fit so it doesn't slam around. But then it does go up like that. This also helps prevent you from getting any grease or anything on your backsplash. We've used the oven to cook pizza in. It's 
pretty freaking nice and it doesn't get hot in the camper either so it's one thing to keep in mind if you're going to use it it doesn't get hot in the camper really really nice counters a couple things you don't really think about when you buy a camper is like when you're doing dishes right what are you going to do with them so we have a drying pad over here and over here we just have this cool little sliding soap uh sponge holder fly swatter absolute must keep a fly swatter in your camper if you don't have one get one you're gonna need it so we take the, the actual sink cover well like when we're moving this goes down in there and this comes up here like that um, they say you can use this as a cutting board we don't usually do that we we actually just put it behind the sink kind of like a backsplash what i wanted to do with it was make some legs for it and put it up on the counter and kind of give us more counter space but that's when my wife said she'll take care of organizing the kitchen and not me um normally we have the toaster up in here we have the coffee pot um, over here i also like to keep my tea kettle i have an electric tea kettle it looks great over here it works wonderful and uh, everything that we use is actually stored under here. You know, there's our pots and pans, our silverware, more of our other utensils, stuff for our Keurig, toaster. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six drawers, and they're deep drawers. We utilize these drawers. These drawers are what literally helps keep everything from going all over the camper. They have a really nice, solid latch. This is where we keep everything from straws, to disinfectants, bug wipes, all of her knives that she likes to use. But how great that is. This is our carbon monoxide. This is the, um, the carbon monoxide propane gas alarm down here. But then, if we were to open this drawer all the way where we keep our cleaning supplies, um, this drawer pops out and that's where you get to our hot water here. Temperature control, here's your thermostat. The bedroom is really, really good size. There is under the bed storage. So charging station, this is my side of the bed. It's where I charge everything. My wife's side of the bed. Um, we did change out this mattress. There is kind of a small walkway, but not bad. Um, this mattress that we did buy is a short queen because if we would have ordered a regular size queen, I would have had to extend the, the top part of this bunk a little bit. And there wouldn't have been room to climb through here, which would have been okay, except for that heater vent is there. And also, my wife didn't want to climb over the bed to get in. So, over here, you got a mirror, closet. They're short closets, but the cool thing is, is they only come midway up, so you have all this room under here. And same thing on my side. I did or buy these, I didn't order them, I bought them. And I'm going to stick them underneath either side. We'll see how they go. They're just 20 lumen, but that's there's no individual lights in here. So they're just always on. There's no smaller lights that are anywhere near here. So if we want to have a soft light in the bedroom, this is our option. In the corner, we have cable TV, satellite. Actually, I think that is power antenna yeah so we have an antenna hookup cable hookup and another outlet and this is where you would mount your tv at right there sliding door it's just got a strap on it that was when we bought it brand new and i moved it here this wasn't snapped so what I did was I let that door slam. It's a shame. It happens. But hey, 
<laughs> so a lot of this stuff that um, I've gone through, I wanted to point out a little more in depth than just a tour because I really want people who watch this video to kind of visualize what is this camper going to be like for you when you're inside of it? Because when I started watching a lot of these other camping tour videos or camper videos, they, they were all pristine and clean and you could kind of imagine yourself being in there, but there's certain things that you don't think about, like where are you putting your laundry hamper? Where's your trash can going to go? Um, what about your recyclables? Um, things like that, like where's all your food going to go? Um, I like to eat fruit for breakfast and my wife's always made sure we have a lot of fruit. So we have a spot where we put our fruit, um, you know, things like that. They're simple everyday things that when you're camping, you don't think about. Um, when I tent camp, cause I do that a lot, it's different. It's just the necessities, right? But this is a little different. This is kind of like your hub between adventures. So those are certain things that you got to kind of keep in mind. My wife has got this great uh, concept of what she's been doing. And she's been really kind of looking at the camper like another home because it really kind of is. And what she's been doing is, okay, so these are our RV clothes. So these are the clothes that we're going to keep in the RV for when we're camping. So that way only the clothes are going to go in the hamper to go back in the house to get clean. Once we're back home, they'll get sent back out, you know, to the camper. Now, of course, with growing boys and different situations, like maybe you're going to an event or whatever else that may be different, but just for going out and having a good time and, you know, maybe floating or kayaking or fishing or whatever, the same clothes are okay. You know, the same four or five sets of clothes, that's cool. Um, but she also has other things now, like she has a separate coffee pot for the camper. First time we brought it out, she brought the coffee pot from home. Um, you know, just progressively. Um, our sheet set, you know, we bought a different mattress, but we didn't buy a different sheet set yet because, well, we have three or four in the house. That's okay to use them. They're just a little longer than, you know, than they would be in your regular house. Um, all in all, we're really enjoying this. So in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of how we we use the camper, like, you know, how we have the coffee pot set out and um, any other quick tip videos like that that I can do or you guys want to see if you have any questions, you know, ask away because I definitely don't know the answers right now. Um, very new to RVing. Very, very new. But I see... From an outside person's perspective, a lot of things that these RVing uh, couples who are out there living in their RVs, they just they don't talk about sometimes because maybe they don't realize or they don't see it. Like, how do you pack your stuff away in your in your cabinets in in your drawers so they don't get destroyed? You know, um, what do you do with all your recyclables? You know, things like that that we've kind of started to live into a little bit. It, it has been fun and it has been an adventure. And um, we do, we love every bit of it. You know, if there's any type of videos that involve RVs or anything like that, I'm gonna try to get them out of there. Any quick tips that I found so far that kind of helped me. I'm sure there have been videos made about it, but I'm just kind of bringing a different perspective. So as always, everybody, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you see that bell, give it a hit. You know, um, I can't begin to thank everybody enough for the amount of support that you've given me. And, uh, I appreciate it. And my boys, they, they really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and thanks for coming along.